do have team coverage tonight on the calls for accountability. We start with investigative reporter Dan Beatty, who's live to explain what the mayor and Colorado Springs police are saying. Yeah, in a statement to 13 Investigates, Mayor John Southers acknowledges that law enforcement is under considerable duress after we asked about the two protest videos. But he says the statements on body camera video obtained by 13 Investigates are wholly unprofessional and should lead to potential disciplinary action. I'd like to see a parade and you like these. July 31st, 2021, Colorado Springs police officers are captured on police body-worn camera video talking about a group of protesters organizing at Dorchester Park, marching for affordable housing. Call us when, you're... Them all to death. <laughs> Call us when we need to collect the bodies. It's like a bunch of goofy these, these uniforms. We sure do. Should we have to swap the out of these dudes and just throw flashbangs at everyone? Stingers. <laughs> when they were talking about, joking about, uh, we should... EPSO SWAT these people and it just shows the culture of hostility that they have towards protests. John Christensen was one of the organizers of the July 2021 protest. After seeing 13 Investigates previous reporting on this Colorado Springs Police body worn camera video during a Black Lives Matter protest in 2020. <laughs> Christensen released this video from the 2021 affordable housing protests. The video about them gassing people and the videos we had were, you know, proof basically uh, of CSPD's culture of hostility. Six people were arrested or charged in connection to those affordable housing protests. The body worn camera video was obtained during the discovery process for those protesters' criminal proceedings. In a statement to 13 Investigates, Colorado Springs Police said the comments made by officers in this video were unacceptable and they are reviewing the information regarding this incident for appropriate action. Mayor John Southers also provided 13 investigates a statement saying comments in both videos were unacceptable. The CSPD has made considerable effort in the aftermath of the protest to ensure officers act professionally in all such encounters going forward, but that does not mean officers who previously engaged in inappropriate conduct should not be held accountable. Springs Police tells 13 Investigates they do not have a bias against left-leaning protesters and that it would be inappropriate to try and portray a few officers' unacceptable comments as showing a department-wide bias. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates.